guys, welcome to your January 2021. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. Timeless read in week three. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam, say hello to my members. Um, I did want to bring to everybody's attention. If you are new here with me, I read current week's energy. So I am not yet at the point where I am reading in advance. It's not been something that I like to do. Um, so I have to draw attention to that. If you are one of those individuals who feels like if it's not coming to you, uh, prior to it happening, then it doesn't resonate with you, then I apologize for that. That's not how we do things over here in the House of Marvelous. Let's keep moving. Scorpio, you are number three. Thank you so much for voting. You guys have been kicking everybody's butt. Um, I appreciate you immensely. Let's go ahead and get started. So, I am sitting here with your energy just like last night, um, just like with Taurus's energy. I'm sorry. Um, and I, I, I had to leave it here um, because Mercury retrograde is already in full effect, although it's not fully retrograde yet. We're operating in that pre-shadow and I'm already starting to get completely irritated. It's like every time I do one video, it's the only thing I can get done or I do the extension or something. It is so irritating. Okay. Yes. So everything that you need from me is below. Okay. Um, how to book a read and so forth and so on. Right now, Libra and Taurus is already um, uploaded for your viewing pleasure. You will be extended, okay? And we will go through this again. Um, we're moving with new blockages this particular week. And I also want you, well, we're going to use the same blockages, but we're introducing a new oracle. All of the cards are below. And I also want to draw your energy to or your attention to the uh, week three informational video for updates and things that you need. Okay. The first card or blockage between you and the person that loves you is the temple path, the card of 12. What does one mean to you, obviously? What does two mean to you by itself? Or what does the sum of the both of them, the two mean, which is three? And please don't tell me third party. Uh, what does that mean to you? Um, what pops up in my head is balance, actually. Working together, being more a part of a team, working together rather than working apart is the very first thing that pops up for me. But you let me know how that number only resonates. We will get into an explanation for the temple path in a second. The second blockage is carrying connections in the heart place. We also have one and we have the number four. What does one or four or the sum of two, five mean to you or 14? Okay. Carrying connections. And finally, we do have a four, which is the third blockage of happy family. Okay. So before I give you the top of the deck, I'm just going to go into a brief um, explanation or um, a word or keyword in the affirmation. So spiritual purpose and support for the, the temple path and the affirmation for that particular card, uh, which of course I love these cards, is I open my heart to a spiritual truth and a deeper connection with, with spirit. Guidance and inspiration come freely and easily to me. Now, the, the second thing that I want to draw your attention to, or maybe it wasn't the second, but what I want to draw your attention to in addition, Scorpio, you and your cross watcher is the word connection. Connection in the temple path. We're talking about deepening our connection with one another, carrying connections here with the next card over. 12 and 14 friendship partnership. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what I felt when I saw this card. I'm, I'm not going into a, um, a 12. I'm taught. I'm, I instantly thought three and my mind went to three of pentacles. Okay. So now we're talking about carrying connections in the heart place. When I show you the card that it is in, in the main energy, then maybe you'll understand what is Marv talking about friendship partnership of two. Friendship and partnership of two possible love is what this card talks about. I open my heart and my life to truly caring connections. Again, not only connection, the second clarifier or connect the, the, the second um, mention of the word connection, but also 
um, about opening my heart. Okay. That is very important here to, I open my heart to life and truly caring connections. The ideal friend and partner is coming to me now. And then we go into the card of four, which is all about grounding, stability, happy family, closeness, fun, and caring. The second mention of the word caring. Do you see what I'm saying? Connections opening my heart and caring. These all are things that have been blocked between you and your person. The affirmation is I open myself, see, opening again, myself up to a new and deeper experience of family. I am ready to see great happiness there. I know I am the loving family that I need in addition. Now, I want to draw your attention to the top of the deck, which is the card of nine. And as you can see, that is the broken heart. This could reference back to that original three that you were thinking of, which might for some of you guys be a three of um, a three of swords. This is the card of a broken heart. Please tell me what the number nine means to you. We're going to go into that. Some of you guys are dealing with a broken heart. <clears throat> due to some external things that have taken place or external parties, okay? So grief and loss, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a broken heart because of an external party, we will find out. Um, this is obviously a, 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 a time that something has been broken or like when I say something, obviously we're talking about broken heart, but Scorpio, I'm talking about contracts, promises, things being broken. This is obviously the cause of of as what's opened you up to this i would not be surprised if i saw separation recon uh, reconciliation and things like that we do have i release the pain of the past and live with compassion for self love heals and renews me now understand that although this is a broken heart you have to affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind Open your heart. So do you see all of these particular cards have that thing? There is something that has went on between you and that in your person. Um, the main energy is telling me honestly where you need to move away from, Scorpio. Um, your person, you and your person, what's blocking the temple path was courage. Okay. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. All right. The second clarifier is regret. And the actions, a person deeply regretting the actions that took place between the two of you that blocked these connections. There could have been direct and very deliberate, but, but stupid things that have taken place between you and the person that love you, Scorpio, which has blocked a lot of the abundance between you guys, obviously. Loneliness, missing the family, okay? I know that I am never alone. That goes back to that affirmation about knowing that I am never alone. That's basically what it was saying. Understanding that I love myself, which ties us into the self-esteem. I do feel like that these two cards, when uh, self-esteem is clarifying the broken heart, I feel like this has a lot to do with um, that other energy that I have read for Taurus, um, Scorpio. If you are connecting with Taurus, please go and check that video out. Why I keep drawing you back to them um, is because there was a theme, but very different cards. But the theme was about what their person could not do, um, what they didn't know how to do. Self-esteem came up and a lot of the things that was going to change. I see this energy here. Courage, regret, loneliness, and self-esteem. It has a lot to do with the person and their self-worth and them not having the courage to walk into their power and take their power back to come and get the relationship back or was too stuck in these. Like they had attachment in the Taurus video. Then this particular energy is they're holding on to the broken, the broken, the attachments that broken hearts have left them, that their broken heart has caused, okay? Um, so those cards are definitely similar to me. And the first card in your main energy is the Page of Cups. We do have the Emperor here, all right? We do have in the heart place the Six of Pentacles. We do have the Six of Swords. 
and we end with the Empress. I love that. Top of the deck is the Strength card. I know that something came crashing down. Sprinkling this energy, I would have stopped it at Strength, but I want to let you know that there was definitely something that came crashing down, which actually could have attributed to this broken heart, but this is a welcome tower. This tower did exactly what it was supposed to do, Scorpio and Cross Watcher, because what what it brought about was change. What it brought about was a way of forcing this person or forcing you guys to not only look at each other differently, Scorpio and your cross watcher, but your person is now understanding that it's forcing them to deal with this love, deal with their fear head on, walk into their courage, swallow those regrets. Understand that no matter whether you guys are not physically together, you're connected. We have Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine on the board, the card of three and four. There is another four. We have a blatant four over here, the fourth card talking about family. Happy family, four. I want you to know that this is Divine Feminine and Masculine and you guys are family. You're their family, Scorpio. And I'm telling you, that this person is walking into their courage now. They, you are their family, no matter near or far. Let me tell you some of the other things that I see here, Scorpio. So first of all, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy is affecting um, this where they want to come and they want to start off very small with you because they know that they have screwed some things up possibly. They're definitely taking a one day at a time type of approach, Scorpio, okay? But don't get that twisted. What they need to say to you is probably because they have been so harsh. They're going to be coming at you in a page's energy, but going at you full speed ahead in the energy of an emperor and empress, power couple, okay? This is what the potential that they see here. Walking in with their wisdom, moving forward and being fearless in the energy of the empress, their, I mean, emperor, their fire energy. In the heart place, we're talking about bringing things more into balance, balancing out the have and have nots. Being at being on a even keel, not not leaning toward have not, you know, and not so much as leaning all the way toward half, balancing things out because relationships are ups and ups and downs. You're not going to be able to truly have one without the other. This is the meaning meaning that perfection doesn't exist, Scorpio. Okay expanding their perspective about relationships and managing their expectations as well. I do see them moving away from things that no longer serve them, which is exactly what we want this tower to do. The tower is not there to scare us and to, ooh, the tower. It should not be looked upon like that, especially on my channel. I want us to look at that, that tower as more as a tool. Haven't you guys been in a relationship or been in a situation that you were trying so hard for it not to fail or so hard pushing, pushing and pushing. And then when something forced that shit to collapse, you were like, you know what that needed to happen. That's what this is. So don't be afraid. This person took a trip. I've been watching for the signs, took a trip to clear my mind, oh, now I'm even more lost. This is mine, mine, mine. Do you hear me? Very much so still attracted to you, uh, Scorpio. Um, that's not going anywhere. This person could have fell out with you, took a trip, journey over water for some of them. Maybe they've come back to say what they have to say. Maybe they have not, but I'm telling you that they're coming back. Or this is the energy of them not wanting. The trip is coming out of the doghouse. The trip is getting out of murky water for some of them if they didn't leave, if they didn't take a one day trip. You know, even if that equivocates with you guys, that's taken a couple of days, you know, disconnecting, doing what they needed to do to get their minds right. That's what that means. I can't wait to clarify it. Then we have the beautiful energy of the Empress. This is the reason why I was asking you where you connected with Taurus energy because we do have Taurus all up and through here. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Fire energy, the energy primarily or majority of Aries, but not necessarily... Um, 
It doesn't necessarily have to stop there, okay? We're talking about the energy of the emperor, Aries energy, or fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We are also talking about earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We are also talking about air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Happy Aquarius season. And we are also talking about the energy of earth or Libra because Venus is here. Although this is typically, they say the card, actually Venus uh, rules both of them. But this is primarily what they say the major arcana for Taurus energy. That's why I asked you that. Does not necessarily mean that you're, you know, you are connected with those energies. If you're not by process of elimination, this is what's going on with you. And we do have obviously the fire energy. I want to let you know that this tower, if I'm not mistaken, is Uranus rule. Let me see. That's why when I don't have my marvelous troop here. Because it will let me know on my cards. I put the energy of that planet. And I want to show you. Yes, 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 yes. I love my cards. Yeah, the fool is Uranus rule. Where is the tower? And I have drawn a blank. So I'm looking at that energy of that planet. Give me one second. It may be Mars. I'm feeling like it may be Mars, Saturn. Here we go. The star, the strength, Pluto, Hermit. Okay, where? there we go. Mars, I knew it. Yes, Marvelous Truth making an appearance here in my deck. Yes, the card of 16, ruling planet. It is, yes, it is fire, accident, damage, catastrophe, destruction, renovation or an unexpected change that is what i want you to understand you know just because it has come crashing down does not necessarily mean that it was not welcome so this person is going to be coming they want to usher in a new energy between you two they have some things that they need to say to you too um scorpio um obviously coming to express their love they feel like they don't have to do that when they already, they simply, you know, had to take a trip away from their home and get their mind right. So what does that translate to me as a metaphor for? I ain't going nowhere. I just took a, took a little, you know, a couple days to get my mind right. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing anything, but they definitely um, are coming back and walking into their courage. Let's go in with the romantic intentions. We have the page of cups being clarified by finances and career. I'm happy that that came out. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with some financial issues. I have been observing a lot of financial issues being um, the cause of some of these relationship breakdowns, especially if you're at that weird point, Scorpio, where you and your person are talking about forever or what to do, whether you're going to move in together, what does engagement look like? You know, some individuals really, un really are under this impression that if I ask you to marry me, we're going to get married tomorrow, first of all. And secondly, that there is no such thing as long term engagement or there is no such thing as planning a wedding or just because we get engaged. That means that we have to have this thirty thousand dollar wedding. So this is something that you guys may want to talk about. I'm going to go in with blockages of and look at the patterns in a second. But I want to bring that to your attention. This this person wants to open, open up their heart again. Yes. To reveal your innermost self innermost selves to one another there has been a hiding that has taken place between you two scorpio and this person definitely wants to reveal and just kind of revel in this forgiving and learning releasing and healing the past so you can experience more love in your present moments all of those times where you have not all those times where you did not all of that this person wants you guys to let that go also clarifying the six two sixes by the way choices i just want to let you know that <clears throat> very soon so right now like i told you they're they've been watching for the signs took a trip to clear their minds some of them um now they're even more lost it was never never let's let's kind of take a break from beyonce's lyrics for a second this was never about losing you this tower um, this was never about walking away from you. This was never about that. This was always this person knew even when this tower struck that they were not going anywhere and you were home. 
This was never, even in all that stress, even in all of the stuff, uh, the, the fussing and fighting, it was never yes. It was never about walking away from you, Scorpio. It was always about working on this partnership. Don't you get it twisted. I hear your person talking to you. Uh-uh. Don't you ever get it twisted. Top of the deck is that honeymoon. And that is what they're going to be holding on for. Do you understand? This is what the end goal is. And they can see you guys going over that. They can see you guys crossing that threshold. Do you hear me? Let me go into, I want to get two cards. Spirit is drawing my attention to tonight. It's going to be the finances and career and the forgiving and learning. That's what we're going to be clarifying. Thank you, Spirit. All right. First and foremost, this is a true love connection. Congratulations. So no matter what is going on in their finances and career, even if you have felt like Scorpio, they have put you last or they have not paid that much attention to you because of their financial situation, or even if it's things that's going on financially with them that they have not expressed to you that you may not know, understand that it was never a thought in their mind that this wasn't a true divine connection, despite of what is going on in this heart place. We do have lessons of Saturn. So you guys have been experiencing lessons of Saturn together as a couple. The soul's desire to resolve limiting patterns of control and dependency. Many challenges, but can bring benevol bene benevolent long-term rewards. So the uh, Saturn lessons came from this broken heart. And that is why I said it was okay because the affirmation as they grew in loving you, as they grew that as they grew their love for you, so did their trust. Because you helped to strengthen up their heart. You were a person, Scorpio, that remained loyal and did not think twice of leaving on the opposite end. It's definitely reciprocal. You guys definitely are divine feminine and masculine, okay? This is both, it, this goes both ways. Then we do have trust. A need to trust in the divine plan. At this time, regardless of the external, okay? Let's go into forgiving and learning. Give me some patterns here, spirit. We do have, yes, red flags. There's definitely been some things with the have and have nots and the imbalanced connection. And um, I don't feel like this was necessarily an in and out or that's how you took it. I just feel like when it came down to commitments, you guys just looked at things very differently. Tune into the subtle energy you are receiving about the situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and intuition. Give me another blockage here. We do have a, parasit a parasitic symbiotic. Yes. One party benefits while the other was depleted. Scorpio, you could have definitely felt like they depleted and robbed you of your energy at times. Um, empathy and support are not equal. Give and take needs to become balanced. That's definitely a part of that uh, balance that's there. Remember, because that's the six of pentacles. And then finally, attract. I'm sorry, reflect. We attract soulmates based on lessons that we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? And make no mistake, it does not matter. They had every right to think, but never, never was this a question about leaving you. And the top of the deck is revealing, renewing adventure. And this is exactly what they want to do, a return of passions and play. Community is healing, laughter, traveling, and new things can re-spark your love life. There it is. The verdict this is out. I'm telling you that they welcome this tower. Okay? Before I get into that, finances and career, getting to know each other, forgiving and learning very soon, and give your relationship a chance, as well as honeymoon are your key words. There was never a doubt in their mind that, you know, that that this would get back on track. What happened? They welcomed it. They stopped trying and allow what needed to break down to break down because they never they never had one thought in their mind that they were not going to be with you, Scorpio. So don't you ever think that. Um, and I certainly hope that that resonated. Now, I can't wait to get into their thoughts, feelings, actions, and fears. We're going to go into another level of clarification here um, in the extension. Um, but to everyone else, this is how we're ended it. They have no doubt 
in their mind that you're the one for them. You are their home. And then I'm going to try to let you know somewhere in the title of uh, uh, divine feminine and divine masculine energy is here. You are a power couple. That's how they view you. I hope that resonated. I will see you next week in um, the week four video. And to everybody else, I'll see you in the extension. Bye, Scorpio.